just shows you the nature of a spotted dermatitis that goes untreated and it just bores its way down, feeds away and brings the cow pain. This is turned up at a, a routine trim here, and it's just a little half for us to minutes. So, so we bit light on this spot, and I have washed it off slightly. I'm just going to show you her dew claws. This dew claw and that dew claw, and they're perfect. There seems to be a little bit of infatuation with dew claws, with how cows housed in a controlled um, environment there really doesn't seem to be any purpose for the dew claws maybe a bit of balance but with cows being prey animals and out in the wild it does if they're going through rough terrain it does give them extra traction keep them from slipping if their leg goes down into a crevice or something like that and they need to get out of there fast so uh, the dew claws, we don't bother so much about them if they're relatively decent length and they're healthy and there's no spots of digital dermatitis, we don't actually. So here, this is just another situation where these dew claws are perfect. I hope that satisfies all you little dew claw people out there. A little spot of dermatitis and it is so. So we'll take it very so. But you can just see it's very. Uh, aggravated up here so we'll just trim this out very slowly add a yurt nice and healthy Now this is a case where the dermatitis has started up in the heel here as a blotch and as it works its way down it seems in here if you can just see where I'm pointing it seems to somewhat have undermined the claw easy bad So this would have been incredibly sore, I think, just as I'm even starting to trim it out, just peeling it a little bit. But So this really is as good an example as I've seen in a while to demonstrate where your digital dermatitis starts in a little blotch here. Seems quite harmless, but as it gets established, it seems to creep down in under the claw, and that's as the cow puts her weight on it, and that's eating down, it's increasingly sore, sort of to the point where it's just if you touch it, you go, ow. Thankfully it has only undermined one claw. Just take it nice and gently here and we can see 
doesn't, I know you can't smell it, but it doesn't smell that nice. Look, you can just see, as I peel that back there, all this here is just making its way in under the floor and causing great discomfort. Now this is quite a young animal. In fact, it would be her first lactation, I believe, by looking at her. I have been speaking to the farmer. We want to get this trimmed out. You can see this is sort of where it's coming to an end, here down at this point here. So it has been making its way, it has been making good progress. But now we have it, we've caught up with it. And we'll treat this with a salicylic acid wrap. And uh, remove that wall horn. Which I just want to show you a close up of this. If you can see the surface, I'm sure to go in close, and it's like little tentacles, little spurs, and that's your dermatitis. Just creeping a little away, making progress, feeding on the bacteria that's in there, and get our salicylic acid wrap on it. And we won't need to block this little cow because she's. We have just trimmed this out and we will leave her her natural weight bearing surface there. But if you get a little shot here, you can see already the, the differential when you look across the foot. This here won't be on the ground, this here will carry the, will carry the weight. Easy, Pat. Got you. This is so close to so tender. So I'm really wanting to just show you as I clean this off, you can see that the, the, those little tentacles that I was talking about that sort of seem to cling on. I'll clean it out and get it nice and clean. So you can see up here, just for a dabbing up here, that's where the first, the dermatitis has first started. And it has just worked its way down in and penetrated in under the claw and causing this little animal great pain. So it's just, you know, the seriousness of dermatitis and controlling it. Once we get, this is all nicely cleaned up now. And all the, that's all nice and soft. We have it wrapped, reduced the height, leaving her her natural height, and uh, she'll have a great deal of comfort with this here. Now, salicylic acid on, it'll perform its duty all been well, and that will be an awful lot comfortable for that little cow. And just for the record, I didn't touch the dew claws because they're okay. These feet. We won't wash them because, again, as I say, there's no need to wash them. And, uh, they will be a routine trim. Just cleaning them out there. Very steep on the medial claw or the inner claw.
So bearing in mind, I don't want to keep her in the crush for too long. She's been in, I've been treating that case of digital dermatitis for a wee while. So again, you can see a little bit of bruising in the outer claw because it's just carrying that a little bit excess weight. We now have corrected that. And that's a lovely routine trim. Over to the other foot. I hope you don't get seasick with me moving you about like that. Just having a wee check round here that there's no other spots of dermatitis anywhere. You can see yourself there, it's a small little spot that starts off and becomes a major problem. But that's lovely, that's a nice wee trim. Let we'll get around to the next front spot. Again, nice healthy feet. And again, as you can see, that her point to it there, with her having excess weight, putting excess weight on this claw, you can see where the corium has bled through the horn, just from a bit of bruising. But once we leave her now that she's using her, all her foot, we didn't touch this at all, so we're really bringing the whole foot into balance and uh, getting it uh, sorted out. So we'll just model it out. You can actually see that bruising coming across the knife. It's actually gone, but there's sort of deeper bruising in there, you can see it. So this little girl is ready for out now, so we will. Have a wee peep at how she goes. Piece of gear, snuffy ball in her. Now, if we get a good look at her there, she's actually sn just sniffing around. To see what's new, but there she's dancing beautifully, and I just love them. I want to run around the crush here briefly. Okay, oh, yeah. well, there. Come on, now she's gone in, Pat. That's okay. Walking on this, and that's how comfortable she's taking steps there. Love it, that is very, very satisfying. But it just goes to show you, folks, there's a lovely, beautiful little heifer, very young, just needed a trim. But it just shows you the nature of a spot of dermatitis that goes on treated, and it just bores its way down, feeds away, and brings the cow pain. So I'll uh, let, better get on, a few more to trim, but thanks for watching, thanks for your interest in what we're doing, thank you for your subscribing and liking the videos, and your feedback, your comments, they're all precious, I appreciate your feedback, thank you for watching, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, and we would sincerely appreciate it, take care, and bye for now.